Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights, back at you with another video. Before you watch this video all the way through, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate. With that said, let's get into it. Before this summer or during this summer, it could be before or during this summer, I truly believe that Russia and NATO is going to be in a full-fledged war with each other. Now, y'all already know I'm going to break, break it down. I'm going to tell you why. Because on my video that I did, the last video that I did pretty much discussed it's only two ways to go, either the peace route or the war route. Well, people is going to continue to take in the war route. And the reason why I say that is because if you add all the money up, including the new package, arms package that the United States is about to send out, the United States will have a total of $3 billion in arms sent to Ukraine since this war started. $3 billion. Three billion. And now you have a lot of NATO countries is also participating in army Ukraine. Now you pretty much have all NATO countries arming a non NATO country, which is Ukraine. You have Finland and you have Sweden. They're also talking about joining NATO which is going to shake the bear up even more. You are already, already shaking the bear up by arming Ukraine. Now, whether they have a right to arm Ukraine or not, that's not really my issue on that. But my issue is how far, or should I say, how much is Putin is willing to take before he up 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 the ante up? Meaning that, because Belarus is about to get in this war, whether y'all know it or not. And I know people saying like, "Oh, Belarus, why they not um, participating in the war in Ukraine?" Well, there will be there will be a waste of manpower to deploy or have Belarus to join that, that war because Belarus is a little bit more powerful than everybody think that Belarus is, you know, that's kind of a small nation within itself. You, I, I matter of fact, I would compare them to Iran if you ask me, but if you really look at the situation, all NATO Germany talking about arming um, Ukraine you have a, a, other nations, um, Great Britain. Um, it, it, it's it's pretty much all of NATO talking about contributing to the arms in Ukraine, and that's going to lead to Russia. Keep he going to continue to step up his military operation. To it becomes a full fledged war with NATO because he already told you if y'all keep arming Ukraine to kill our soldiers, we're going to respond unpredictably. He told him this. Is they going to stop just because Putin tell them, told him that? No, because you're dealing with the United States. The United States don't stop nothing until they see a threat or stir death in the eyes. That's, that's pretty much why, what the United States is, is, is made for. That's, that's my, matter of fact, it's been prophesied that, that that's the only way that you're going to really stop the United States in the trap. So they're not going to stop that just because Putin said, well, we are going to suffer consequences. No, they're going to keep going because NATO feel like, well, as long as we got the United States, we gonna we ain't give a care about what Putin say. We're gonna keep arming them. And vice versa. Um, 
NATO think the same thing. Long we got the United States, uh, and the United States that way. Long we got NATO, long we got each other. We are gonna keep doing what we are doing. But I truly believe, and this is a scenario. What if Russia? Well, well, what if Russia and all of Russia allies come together in this in this military operation turn to the beginning stages of World War Three, which is already is. You ain't no denying it, but. What if it go to that point to where Belarus, Iran, Russia, Syria, or China, all of these nations just go against NATO? Now, United States will have a choice. They will allow NATO to go toe to toe with Russia allies or stay out of it. What do y'all think gonna, the United States is going to do? Y'all can put that in the comment section. <laughs> what do y'all think? If you have all these powerful nations going against NATO, what do you think the United States is going to do? Do you think they're going to come in, intervene, or you think it's going to be another uh, situation dealing with Afghanistan? <laughs> Sit back, idly by, and allow them to get swallowed up, because that's exactly what's going to happen. Because during one war, World War II, you have one nation that occupy damn near whole entire Europe on the occupation. And if it wasn't for D-Day, Europe would still would be on the occupation to this day. So I don't think we think about these things if NATO pretty much get conquered or get um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if Europe get occupied again, it will be primarily occupied. And guess what? It's going to leave the United States over here, butt naked. I mean, butt ball naked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you right now. And it, it, it's going, it, it's everybody going to be food over here, man. I'm just going to keep it, keep it, keep it 100. And you're going to see. And, uh, and I'm going to tell y'all something else. I'm going to give y'all a prediction. And I'll bet anybody to go against this prediction. I, I'll bet anybody to go against this prediction. If NATO fall to the hands of Russia and its allies, you're going to see how many United States allies is really United States allies. Again, you're going to see how many United States allies <laughs> is United States allies. You're going to be surprised how many United States allies that United States has. And you also going to be surprised how many nations is going to turn against the United States when that time comes. And this something that the United States probably already know, but the people don't know. You know what I'm saying? The people don't know because a lot of them don't know how a lot of this stuff work. Cause you got to think about it. A lot of these allies that's calling themselves allies is nothing but trading partners, commerce. <laughs> that's, that's it. You have military alliance and you have trading uh, alliance. You have nations that trade with each other and that's it. No military pack or none of that. So this is what people need to learn the politics to where just because United States have allies, it doesn't mean that those allies are arm allies. They probably just simply trade whatever trade that they do. And I'm not talking about those allies. I'm talking about the arm allies of the United States. You want to, figure out how many nations it's going to turn against the United States. Cause it's being prophesied that all nations will turn against the United States one day. And will it be that situation that I just explained? I'm going to leave that totally up to them, but I, I, I know what it, I know what it is though. <laughs> I, I already know what it is. You know, I, I already know. I'll leave that one up in the air. But at the same time, 
you see what's really going on. And I predict, I will predict that by this summer, NATO and Russia is going to be in a full-fledged war. If not in a full-fledged war, they're going to be going against one of NATO ally, NATO countries. And I think it's either going to be Poland or it's going to be Finland or it's going to be Sweden. Because these are, see, you, you got to look at it as chess. You you got to stop chips from being moved on the chessboard. So what do you think going to happen if those two nations try to join NATO? And what do you think happen? What's going to happen if all of these nations, including the United States, when Putin already warned that stop arming these nations and stop arming Ukraine and they keep arming Ukraine, what do you think going to happen? So it ain't a matter is what's going to happen is when it's, it's a, it's borrowed time right now. So as long as they keep funding Ukraine, which they're going to keep funding Ukraine, they're going to keep giving them military. They're going to keep, they're going to give them military aid. Biden is ready to send them, um, some more aid right now. He, he about, he about, he about to send them some more right now. Germany talking about sending some. So, but at the same time, they still relying on Russia oil and energy. So what's going to be more important? It's almost like it's a bidding war. Like, and I think the more Russia get the upper hand, the more you're going to see allies turning against either United States or you're going to start to see breakaway nations of NATO. You see what I'm saying? You're going to start because, see, if any country break away from NATO, they automatically going to have to side with Russia because that that's, was the reason why NATO was created after the Cold War. And really, before that, they was in the talks of creating a some sort of a military alliance because they don't want to see the occupation of Europe happen again from a nation like Russia. Because nation uh, Russia was capable of doing what Hitler or Japan and, and Italy did during World War II. They were very capable. And they had Cuba, <laughs> which still, I, I, I say, an uh, enemy of the United States to this day, by them side. You see what I'm saying? So... Y'all, y'all, people need to figure out what time they in. It is about to get heated, and I, I, I give it to the summer, summertime, unless it goes another term, unless the negotiations happen, unless somebody has some real good talking game to stop this war. I see NATO and Russia going at it, and who knows, maybe the United States and Russia, because it can go either way at this particular time. Nothing is not off the table. This is basically what I'm trying to say. Nothing is not off the table. It can go either way. They could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the United States, and if the United States get in some kind of military trouble, will NATO come to the defense of the United States? Or did or they will sit idly by it and, and allow the United States to get swallowed up by Russia and its allies. See, this is the questions you got to ask yourself because it can go either way. Because Russia have more allies than you think. The, the allies you think is the United States is not really the United States allies. They just waiting for the opportunity to see which way the scale is going to tip. And if that scale tipped towards Russia and they get the upper hand, then guess what's going to end up happening? A lot of these nations is going to side with Russia because it's all about investments. It's all about the nation. It's it's all about capitalism. It's, it's all of that is in play when it comes down to switch the side because everybody want to continue to eat. I'm just going to keep it real with you. And, these other nations don't see no benefit in a defeated nation. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. 
it ain't no different than the music industry. You 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 stop selling records, you you no good. If you start bringing people, you you a movie star, and you start bringing people to the movie theater, you 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 out of there. If you at a job and your performance is not fulfilling that job requirements, <laughs> they getting you the heck up out of there. It, it's 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 the same thing in world politics. It's the same thing. If you a powerful nation and everybody rely on you and then you fall by the wayside and this next nation come up, guess what they're going to do? They're going to leave early. They want to get reap the benefits soon as possible, but they got to make sure that you don't, you are falling or you to the point to where you cannot benefit them in business no more. And they're going to go to the other side and you already see these nations in Europe got one foot in and one foot out, which contradict themselves because how Germany is going to fund Ukraine, but still buy Russia oil and energy from them at the same time. How is that possible? Somebody please tell me that. So they, they letting you know right then and there, it's all about their own interests. They don't give a crap about Ukraine. It's all about their own interests and keeping their nation afloat. And now that solidify this whole video. So with that said, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe to the channel, donate, do whatever you can do. If you enjoy the content, if you don't do nothing else, subscribe to the channel. Let's get the views up so we can reach more people. So I could break this algorithm because that's the only issue dealing with YouTube right now is breaking the algorithm and get more people to be aware of the information that I'm putting out. With that said, Southern Knights, peace.